Hi. Now what we have here is a question based on working out approximations to a root using an iterative formula. We've got the equation x cubed plus 3x squared plus 4x minus 12 equals 0 has a single root which is between 1 and 2. And we've got to use the iteration formula x subscript n plus 1 equals the square root of all of 4 multiplied by 3 minus x subscript n all over 3 plus x subscript n where n is greater than or equal to 0. And we have a starting value x0 equaling 1 and what we've got to do is find to two decimal places the values of x1, x2 and x3. So if you'd like to give this a go, just pause the video, come back when ready, and uh, you can check your work solution with mine. All right, let's see how you got on. Well, what I've got here on the right is a typical scientific calculator. And if you've got a calculator like this with an answer button, okay, then you can do this kind of problem very easily just saves you typing in lots of values. What we do is we start with our first approximation, x0 then equaling 1. Whatever that approximation is, just type it into your calculator. Just clear it and then enter your 1, okay? When you've done that, press equals. This now becomes the answer. It's stored into the calculator. What we have to do next is to enter this formula here. So we start then with the square root. Well, we better clear the screen anyway, first of all. So if we do that, we enter square root. Then I'm going to use the fraction button. And then we've got 4, then the bracket, 3, minus. Now, instead of this x subscript 10, we hit the answer key and then we'll close the bracket and then we'll go down to the bottom of the fraction by pressing this button here and now we just enter 3 plus you don't need the brackets but if you do put them in it's okay and then we've got x subscript 10 here which we enter as answer so remember answer is stored as 1 so we're actually putting 1 through this formula here. And we can see what that comes to just by pressing equals. And it comes to the square root of 2. Well, that's the exact value, but we want the decimal value. So by pressing this one here on this calculator, S to D, symbolic to decimal, if I press that, we get this as the decimal. So that's our first approximation, x1. x1 then equals 1.4142 and so on. And if we round this now to two decimal places, then that's going to equal 1.41 to 2 dp. Now if we want x2, all we've got to do is just press equals again. And there's our value for x2. So x2 then is 1.1987 and so on. So when you round this to two decimal places, you're going to get 1.20. 1.20 to two decimal places, 2 dp. And finally, for x3, just press equals again, and there we go. x3 is 1.3099 and so on which when rounded to two decimal places is going to be 1.31 to 2 dp. Okay, well I hope this gives you an idea then on handling that kind of problem. By using a scientific calculator with say the answer key here.